Hey, what's up, everyone? Thanks for tuning in. It today is uh, Tuesday. It's four twenty. Special little holiday there. Uh, anyways, yeah, today, as far as trading recaps go, I've got to say it's another zero trade day for me, which is just crazy. I've never had a month like this where I've I've traded this less or. Um, it's many days where I've traded nothing, where I've sat on my hands and literally traded nothing. It's crazy, because um, I'm 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 all about trading, and I've been holding back lately just because the market to me feels like it's not giving any opportunities to trade anything. So, uh, yeah, today's going to be a nice short recap, and uh, I did want to kind of highlight. I know a lot of you beginner traders intermediate traders uh follow ross cameron from warrior trading and that's kind of how i got um a lot of my interest started um in trading not initially but when i was looking to learn a little bit more he has obviously a great youtube channel for it uh so i recommend checking him out if you haven't already but anyways um yeah he is he's an excellent trader a great teacher but uh, even for him, yesterday, I think he was down 35, I think it was 35K. And today, it's the same thing for him. So he's down 35K. So he, I just watched his his uh, recap and he's uh, basically flat on the month. He might be a little negative, a little positive, but it's right around <laughs> being right around, um, you know, zero bucks on the entire month of april which is crazy to really think of and uh i think yeah he was mentioning that he was up 100 100k at uh on the month at one point and um within the last two days yesterday and today he um wiped that clean and went right back to uh to zero so Crazy to really think of. He had to have another another day because there's um, we lost a good chunk of change. But anyways, yeah, he's flat on the month, and I'm looking at my calendar here for April, and this is just so crazy for me because um, I've got this is my fourth day of zero trading, and like I said, I mean I will take a stab at a lot of different stuff, even sometimes when they're not ideal setups. Um, you know, just to get some green on the on the day, whether you've it's, you know, 20, 50 bucks, like that's at least something on the table, right? But today I didn't even see anything worthy of trading once again. So fourth day of no trades. And um I'm to be honest, I'm I'm kind of happy about that today in the sense that I didn't trade anything that I didn't need to and um it sucks to be, you know, no money on the day. But then again, that is so much better than being down a hundred bucks, two hundred bucks, five hundred bucks. Um, it's really devastating when you continuously go red. So I definitely want to hear from you guys. Um there is let's let's do a quick little recap on um well first off, I will say this morning, before the markets opened. I was actually, um, before I got up, I checked my phone, checked the um, scanners and was seeing that on the top gainers, there was nothing moving above like 19%, which for nothing to be above that, uh, I knew, I just knew it was going to be another, for the most part, you know, a slow day. And... I do know that, you know, things can turn around very quickly. So the morning could have started slow and it could have turned around quickly. So, uh, but anyways, I gave myself like, you know, another 30 minutes just to sleep in, um, figuring that the market was going to be slow to start, maybe have a turnaround. But as I got up and checked everything out, looks like nothing really turned around, nothing popped and went through. So, um, yeah, here we are, are again. But anyways, let's look at one of the trades that um that ross made this morning it was on mymd uh i would have been looking at this one to be honest 
uh, we had a it had a nice run straight up into a halt here in the morning, but I most likely would have seen this because I'm I'm not very uh, likely to trade right out of the um, right out of the gates once the market opens. I use E Trade, and I I notice typically my execution um, rate right when the market opens is not that clean, so I usually wait two or three minutes to get in to my first trade and wait for things to clear through and to figure out where certain stocks are going to go. The, you know, the top three that I'm watching, we'll see where they go. And then I decide to hop in if it's a good opportunity at that point. So sometimes I might miss some of the initial move on something like this one. Uh, but in this case, you know, I obviously didn't trade it, but anyways, Ross did. And the thing with this is that <clears throat> it moved so quick. It went right into a halt. And then as it opened up from the halt, it just went sky high. And then from there had a total reversal and just went right down, huge red candle right into another halt. So I want to know from you guys, from you guys if you traded MYMD today and how are you sitting on the trade? Were you able to get in um, on this candle and uh, maybe get out for a profit? Let me know. Love to hear from you guys. But uh, from Ross's end, it sounds like he uh, ended up taking a huge loss on this. And I think that was a majority of his loss, um, down 35K. So pretty crazy stuff. So obviously no follow through on this one today. Uh, after it opened up from the halt, it just continued lower and lower and lower. So this was just horrible. Um, I'd like to really hear from you guys if you traded this. But anyways, the other stuff on top of the list here that I looked at that just uh, didn't really find a great opportunity to trade, whereas um, BTX, this one did move, but uh, the volume was very low. And by the time it got up to an ideal point, I think it was already hitting resistance. So, you know, I didn't trade that. And then what was another one? SQBG, I think this was a, yeah, once again, this is like super low volume on this one too. Super, super low. So and a little bit higher price, so not even worth trading to me. So it's sad and unfortunate, no trades today, but at the same time, I'm happy that I'm not red uh, because it's for sure that right now is just a choppy, slow market. And uh, yeah, it's unfortunate, but sometimes you just have to really practice this patience. And it's, it's really hard when you're trying to... Um, you know, if you're trying to do this for a living, you're trying to do this to, to earn a good portion of your income, um, to just sit back idle is, is tough when you know you need to be making money every single day. But uh, that's why you got to kind of cover your bases. I mean, if you're a beginner, you know, you should definitely, you know, either have a job or some other business that you run, something that's bringing you some kind of income. Because just to, to declare to, you know, uh, I'm just going to start trading for a living, you know, unless you've got massive capital, capital and a lot of, a lot of experience, uh, probably not the best idea. So, uh, anyways, to go back to the point, it's just either way, we're all looking to make money in the market and it's tough when the market is slow like this, because uh, we don't know when it'll, you know, uh, return to what it was like before or just improve so that's it really um yeah 420 today i hope you guys enjoy yourself and um report below let me know in the comments below how you did today did you decide to sit on your hands as well and practice patience and do zero trades or did you see some opportunities what were they and what did you trade and if you're green today i think it deserves good pat on the back because I don't think a lot of people out there today, um, you know, or a lot of the small, small, uh, small cap traders were probably green today. Who knows? But, uh, yeah, that's it for now. So we'll catch you on the next one tomorrow and hopefully we have a uh, turnaround.